Hey friends, welcome back to another amazing episode of the Fit Life Orange County. And before I introduce today's guest, I want to give you a friendly reminder to give us a like, give us a subscribe on YouTube, write us an amazing review on iTunes, that way we can keep producing this content for you for free. So now to introduce today's guest, who's a dear friend of mine, and this episode is incredibly special because she was my wife and I's very first client at our Your Belinda Fit Body Bootcamp location, which we launched in November of 2012. So you're gonna hear her story, uh, but more importantly, the power of consistency in your fitness results. So without further ado, let's welcome Miss Leslie Freeman to the show. Welcome to the Fit Life Orange County a show dedicated to busy men and women focused on taking back control of their fitness and their lives with the help from ideas and programs from local experts here in Orange County. Here are your hosts, Bryce Henson and Jake Stewart. Leslie, welcome to the show. Hi. I am so excited, my friends, this episode I've been waiting for, and I'm gonna say it for going on 10 years since 2012. My first question is always gonna be, Leslie, give us your backstory of fitness. Um, how did you learn about Fit Body for the first time? But I'm gonna interject a little bit here and uh, introduce Leslie as uh, the very first client uh, we had both when my wife and I, Tatiana, um, opened our Your Belinda Fit Body Bootcamp location on a very cold, uh, early morning in November 5th in 2012, and it just so happens uh, the lady to my left was uh, one of our first boot camper, and uh, we're shooting at this the end of 2012, or excuse me, 22, uh, so over 10 years, which is absolutely incredible. So this episode means a lot to me. I'm super grateful for you, Leslie, and I uh, want to introduce you and really just kind of hear that story from your perspective. Um, we'd love to, to get some insight there. Okay, so first of all, um I'm so very grateful for you and Tatiana for this also. So prior to um, joining Fitbody, uh, I was doing my own thing at um, a big box gym. And I did never go to the classes because the classes were always booked and everything. And so I just did my own thing. And where I was working was having, we were having a blood drive and I was, um, the person that was in charge of that. And the uh, property management company um, put a little teaser. They added a perk for people to sign up at the last minute after I had already donated that day. And she said um, that uh, we'd get six weeks, I think it was, six weeks free at uh, boot camp. And I'm like, oh, boot camp. I want to go <laughs> because I've been thinking about boot camp and all of them were in the park and I didn't want to go to the park because I have a lot of allergies and everything. So I really wanted to be inside. So I run over and I'm, I'm going, I already donated, but I want to be in this. And so then um, I talked with Tatiana and um, anyway, I entered into the drawing. And then I got a call from you the next day, which was Halloween. And... Um, you were um, saying that I didn't win, which I knew, and uh, but that you invited me to come and try it out. And so I said, can I bring friends? And I started asking all the questions like, how early can I come? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you said, 5.30. And I'm like, okay, okay. And uh, anyway, so that was, that was what I did. I talked um, some friends into coming. And then it ended up a whole lot of us from my work ended up working out there. Yeah. But it wasn't close to my home. It was close to where I worked. Yep. So I had to get ready for work at work afterwards. <laughs> but I did that for a very long time. And, uh, and even um, when I was no longer working there, I still wanted the continuity and I wanted to keep doing the same thing. And so I didn't stop going to the same place, even though it wasn't close to home. And there were some other places that were closer for me. And because that's where my family was. Oh. So, Well, I appreciate you sharing that from your lens. Leslie, you mean a ton and it's been uh, a long time. Um, it's an incredible story to begin with. And we've been working out for 
for a long time, for many years, for a decade, um, yes. early mornings. Uh, interesting uh, for our audience, the, the story on the other side of the coin was uh, Tatiana and I had just lived in Brazil for a couple of years. Um, I was based in Southern California, so I knew it was coming back. I came back in the summer. Um, just to kind of get everything ready, I signed the franchise agreement with uh, Fit Body Bootcamp, and Tatiana was back in Brazil up until about a week before uh, the bootcamp launched, and I think probably about two days um, before, or excuse me, after she arrived is where she met you, and I literally dropped her off <laughs> at the Red Cross blood drive that you hosted, and I gave her the address. She had no idea where the boot camp was the first time in your Belinda, and I remember her coming home and talking about how she met you, and you were so sweet, and uh, yeah, that was the start of something great, so uh, really how in serendipitous how it all worked out. And it here, sure is. And here we are 10 years later, but um, I'm curious, actually, speaking of, you know, boot camp and you were kind of looking for a boot camp, what, what about it? What, why were you interested uh, specifically? Because I knew that I was, I mean, I knew that I needed to work out. I needed um, some type of structure. I was doing it on my own and I get, um, in my own mind, I'm, you know, you kind of get bored and you need to be pushed and I really needed a challenge. I really wanted a challenge. I like challenges. And so, um, and I, I am competitive. So that really was part of it. And, you know, I'd hear people talking about it. And I'm like, oh, I'm not doing everything that I can do. So um, I just need, I, well, after the first day of working out, I knew that I didn't know anything about fitness. I mean, I was not doing anything. I was, I was definitely um, uh, schooled. Um, there were mountain climbers and burpees, <laughs> and I had, I mean, it was just full, full body workout, and, and uh, I just, I wasn't doing that before. I, you know, I yeah. would sit on different machines and everything like that, which are just fine, but I wasn't, I wasn't doing the most that I could be doing. I wasn't pushing myself in the right manner, and... Well, that's what boot camp will do. It'll give you a push for sure. Yeah. Um, now I'm curious, actually, Leslie, from your perspective on the results that you've seen. So from my lens, and just this is a great teaching, teaching message to our audience, if I were to describe you, Leslie, having a very close relationship um, for many years now, consistent is the day is long. So yeah. people, you know, just human nature, always want the quick fix. It's like, oh, how can I do this very quickly? But the reality of the situation, from my lens, your success has been consistency. Day in and day out, you're there, you're committed. Um, and from a, a result perspective, um, you've always had a tiny frame. You've definitely developed a lot of muscle and very, uh, you've, you've become very toned throughout the course of the year, years. But from your perspective, what's the biggest results, both physically, I guess, but also too, um, you know, additionally, maybe mentally or some other results that you've you know, achieved uh, by being part of the program? Okay, well, I think that anyone that knew me 10 years ago would say that my confidence level in public with other people because I'm, I've always been so, I mean, it always seemed like I was introverted. So I do things on my own. I was, you know, but this has changed it. Um, I have a family, I have a fitness family and that's where it's different. We're all kind of in it together and, uh, it's just a completely different perspective. Yeah. So, completely different than fitness. Yeah. Really. Now walk us through, um, because human nature, we all have concerns, hesitancies, and, and mm -hmm. whatnot. That's just part of who we are as humans. Uh, certainly when you learned about boot camp and the, the mm -hmm. raffle and the giveaway, you had a level of excitement because you need, you need some sort of push. But what were your, some of your concerns, maybe, if you can think back? And that's important because someone listening to this or watching this probably has some concerns about joining a program if they haven't done so already. Um, mine, mine was the affordability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, it was my priority. It became my priority immediately. And I found that I really needed to be there and I needed to be pushing myself and doing that. And I was feeling so, I mean, I already felt pretty good, but I felt so much better. And, and the little, little wins that I was making, as I would see, you know, I'd 
be challenged with something new and just um, becoming stronger and uh, the breathing part because I have asthma and I just, I was able to breathe a whole lot. I mean, I was able to do a lot more cardio than I had in the past and that was really something. Oh yeah. How about uh, the other aspect of the program? And it's interesting you talked about the confidence in terms of like social in front of people. Mm -hmm. um, because when I, my viewpoint of view, and granted it's just seeing the evolution, like you're a social butterfly, you have amazing amount of friends and relationships. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves in Fit Body is like the community and the relationships. And I've certainly seen you, you know, latch on and really be a, a big part of, of your experience. So can you talk a little bit about some of the friendships that you've gained over the years and how oh, they've served you to, to today? Oh my goodness. Um, it's, it's amazing, um, how, how many wonderful, wonderful relationships have been built and maybe we might not be in the same place anymore. We might be in different locations and everything, but I've got some lifelong, very strong friends now, friendships that have been built and that would have never happened before. So we do things outside of boot camp at times. Not a whole lot, but sometimes. And uh, we're always, you know, messaging each other. So we're kind of together like that. And it's just, um, we're just very supportive of each other. So, you know, life throws a whole lot of stuff to you, at you. And uh, so my day is, I go to boot camp, and I'm not doing anything like that anymore during the day. I'm doing a lot of other things. And through all those things is um, I'm able to face everything else because I'm feeling better. Meaning and like the workout sets the tone for your day. And yes, then from it does. there, everything Absolutely. becomes better. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now talk about um, some of the challenges because certainly, let's face it, to your point, life throws a lot at all of us, right? Challenges. Um, and certainly working out and living a healthy lifestyle is challenging, um, but you can also pick your heart because if you choose the, the easy path at first, you don't work out, you don't invest in yourself, then other things become hard. Or you can choose your hard first and get up and exercise and things become easier, but it's still hard at the beginning. What would you say is probably the biggest challenge of um, the workouts, the, the lifestyle, um, you know, boot camp in general? I would love to be able to kind of get some perspective for our audience. Um, well, uh, you have to be very intentional about what's the most important to you. And so I know that if I miss a workout in early and I don't get there, then I'm not feeling as well. But I always feel so much better after I've worked out. So the challenge is making the time and setting the time and making sure that I'm able to get up at the right time to do that and um because you're an early riser right so what time do you usually go to bed i'm curious to be able to provide some coaching to our audience <laughs> what time i go to bed and what time i should go to bed are two different stories okay so, um yeah uh, if i could i would be asleep before 9 30 but that's no that hasn't happened in a oh, while wow. that's the target yeah yeah so How it doesn't happen. Which time do you wake up? It has to be somewhere yeah. between 4.30ish. Yeah, it's 4.30. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, Snooze is very enticing. <laughs> <laughs> well, 4.30 comes early. Yeah, it is. And, and you know, it, it does. And then, but it's kind of like, um, it's almost like a cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah. It really is once you get going. And uh, what about... Uh, some of the unexpected benefits of, of working out because people, you know, typically when they know they need to change and specifically from a fitness perspective, most times it's, I need to feel better. Or I need to look better. I need to lose weight. Um, but there's also, especially with our community, there's also a lot of other benefits, um, to working out, um, that probably don't meet the eye at first. So from your lens, if you kind of think back at your, um, fitness uh, prowess since 2012, um, what's been probably a big 
benefit that's been unexpected throughout the process? I would say the relationships is, is I, I would say the relationships. And uh, it, it's, it's just incredible. So um, relationships, confidence, mm. um, competence, um, my health, you know, of course. Yeah. But how about um, you know, goal setting is really important, and as this is uh, being released in early 2023, uh, people are going to have their New Year's resolutions and want to be a better version of themselves. Um, I'm curious, like, on how you've planned your goals throughout the, the the course of the years, and specifically, what's your big fitness goal for 2023? Yeah, you know, I'm not so young anymore. <laughs> But I want to at least maintain the level that I'm at to, um, to stay as strong as I am and to keep pushing. Um, uh, I have, um, so, so what, what are the biggest goals? I haven't really thought too much about with fitness. I was thinking about some other things in some other areas because I'm really, I really am very um, happy with what I've been doing. I did want to do, you know, like, you know, a big challenge at different times, but I haven't found that that has fit into my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, life is busy and, and I've got a very full life. Yeah. So, um, I think it's also a testament to you, Leslie, and I think that's a good takeaway as well because you know the studies that you, you see that for New Year's resolutions are are pretty grim in terms of actually realizing those. Mm -hmm. But I think the value is you've made this a, just a part of your lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, so from you know from your perspective and certainly my perspective as well. Certainly, we always want to progress and we can be, get right. better and dial things in. But as part of your lifestyle, it doesn't necessarily come to like a, a focal point from a goal perspective. And that's mm -hmm. probably a good place to. Be. Uh, Leslie, the one thing I do want to dial in just to get some insight because uh, you're a super fit lady, um, both your cardiovascular system, your skeletal muscle mass, it's just been incredible and impressive to watch you over the years, but your flexibility is just to be desired. Um, <laughs> so walk us through, uh, you know, how you stay so flexible and really uh, how that's been a benefit to your, to your life. Oh, I stretch. Like a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> how often? Daily? Yeah. Morning, yeah. evening, night? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Has I it did. always been part of your... Um, I've always been pretty flexible. Okay. And so, yeah. And, uh, and I feel really good when I'm, you know, stretching out and everything. So, yeah, I... Do you think that's been very beneficial in terms of, like, your, helping you, your body work out? Absolutely. And um, for a long time, we were doing um, yoga. Yeah. And... It wasn't a very, it wasn't a formal yoga so much as we went more into, um, we really wanted to do stretching. Yeah. And, and uh, the stretching and the balance, those are so key in everything. I mean, I, I have learned that. And so um, it really helps me so much to... Um, to go and to work out, and I don't have injuries. I, and because, uh, you know, people will sometimes push a little bit too much. It's really important to stretch. Oh, yeah. You've got to. So um, it's not just. Well, you do an incredible job with it, and I think it's just a good coaching moment to our audience as well, is you need to keep focused on your nutrition, your fitness, but how you do that as well is be stay flexible, because to your point, it, just, it, it re definitely reduces your, uh, I guess, being prone to injury, which keeps you be able to work out and lead right. that healthy and fit lifestyle. What's up, my friend? Coach Price here. Now, you might know me as the co-host of this podcast and the owner of Mission Viejo Fit Body. But what many people don't know is that I began my journey as a fitness transformation story. You see, circuit training and nutrition coaching absolutely changed my life after being overweight with a diet of mainly fast food in my late teens. Now, upon my fitness transformation in early 2007, yes, I gained a much better physique as I was overweight and lacked lean muscle. But way more than burning fat and building lean muscle, 
I increase my confidence, my energy, and my vibrancy to live life. And it's for these reasons that many people join our boot camp. In fact, with our Ultimate Transformation Program, we guarantee that you'll lose at least 15 pounds in 12 weeks, or your program is free until you do. Now go ahead and visit our website at missionviejofitbody.com. Now thanks, and back to the show. So Ms. Leslie, you've been so gracious with your time. We still have some more to transition to the lightning round for a few other questions if you're up for it. Okay. All right, so my first question in the lightning round, and certainly nutrition is a big part of fitness. Um, so what is your favorite healthy meal, Leslie? And then on the flip side, what's your favorite cheat meal? My favorite healthy meal. Okay, so it's kind of a, um, oh, my favorite, my new favorite healthy meal. <laughs> It's a smoothie type of thing, but it just turns into a pudding okay. if I have it in the blender long <laughs> enough. And it's with the protein and some uh, powdered peanut butter and a banana and almond milk. And let's see what else I've got in there. And that's one of them. And then I've got another that's um, my vegetable smoothie. And that one, I absolutely, that one's got ginger and beets and blueberries and pear and oh, that's that's good for the body yeah yeah so those are those are my really really th those are really really um strong they're an easy meal for me to get down i don't have to worry about it i just do it and i've got it and it tastes good to me and um Off you go. and i feel good what about the flip side what's your guilty i guess uh, pleasure Okay, so um, I love sweets. I really do love sweets. I love ice cream. Absolutely love ice cream. <laughs> well, you and me both have a sweet tooth as well. So, um, but a meal, I like spicy and pizza and things like that. Um, but I'm not so much of a, a bread person, so. There you go. <laughs> what about back to boot camp? Uh, and I'm dying to actually know your, your answer because I actually have no idea. But what would you say is one of your favorite exercises at boot camp? And then what is an exercise that you like to avoid, like the plague? Okay. Um, well, it is, uh, my, my favorite exercise is burpees, I think. And that's something that has developed um, because I just think that they're, they've become easy and I know that when I'm doing them that they're good for me. So okay. I, I like them, but um, I, so those are probably, probably one of my favorites. Uh, one of my least favorites are, hmm, I don't really care so much for wall balls. Mm. Um, what else don't I care for? Hmm. There are some other ones, but I think I think that's one of them. It's pretty solid. I love me uh, a burpee for sure, and then I'm not a few, huge fan of wall balls as well. So kindred spirits. <laughs> um, this is a also a local health and fitness show, so I got a few questions that aren't necessarily geared okay. towards health and fitness, but. Uh, you're from, or at least has spent a long time in, in Orange County, North Orange County in Orange. But mm -hmm. um, aside from uh, the gym, where is uh, where, uh, where can we find you hanging out, or one of your uh, favorite places to relax in Orange County? Uh, relax, or well, I love the beach. Love to go to the beach. I don't get to do it so much, but. Um, uh, well, you do for our beach boot camp on an annual basis every yes, August. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not relaxing. <laughs> it's definitely not relaxing. Uh, um, and uh, let's see. So relaxing. Well, one of the places I like to go for fun, it's not necessarily relaxing, is um, I like to go roller skating with a group of friends that, that I've know. met from boot camp <laughs> over the years. And we, we some Have of us ball. get together and... Yes, we do. We go out roller skating, so yeah. I do that when I can. Oh, that's and awesome. That's super fun. How about outside of Orange County? What's one of your favorite places to travel? Oh, okay. Um, uh, I recently went back east with um, my child. My um, my son took me, and we went to um, 
we went to Niagara Falls. Oh, wow. And we went all over, and, and we just walked all over the place. And we ended up in Boston. So a lot of walking cities, and it was, it was just super, super awesome. So I think that's where I like to go, is where I can go someplace and learn about another place, another, you know, someone else's home and just become um, acclimated to that and walk around. But definitely, you know, I like the walking cities and, and that. The active lifestyle. Yeah. How about uh, favorite song or band? Oh, well, I've got a few. I just recently saw Elton John in concert. Ooh, this is his final tour, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was awesome. Oh, cool. And so, all of those songs were my favorites. <laughs> but I'm also, um, I'm a huge Eagles fan. Ooh. I'm a huge Journey fan. I went and saw Journey in concert not too long ago. So um, I love music. So. Cool. Um, last question in the lightning round. Okay. What's your favorite holiday? Oh, I think it's Thanksgiving. Cool. Me too. All right, Ms. Leslie, I have two final questions more on the health and fitness side to kind of bring us home today. And the last one is really, or the second to last one, is a parting piece of wisdom. So um, there's definitely an audience member listening to this, maybe watching this, that they know they need to change. Mm -hmm. They need some sort of, you know, uh, boost in their health and fitness. Mm -hmm. um, but for whatever reason, just human nature, there's a concern, there's a hesitancy. What would you say to that person? Oh, um, try it out. But... Do it for more than a couple of times. Set aside a time, intentionally schedule it in so that it's something that's doable and make sure that you don't get, um, you know, waylaid by, you know, and have something else come up. But intentionally set aside time to do it and it's really not very long. It's only 30 minutes of exercise. So, Take out that time, you know, to get to and from and and carve it out and just make it part of your lifestyle for a little bit and you'll find that it's something that you don't want to do without. Love it. Last question for today, which the name of our podcast is the Fit Life Orange County. So okay. for you, Leslie, what does it mean uh, to live a fit life? Well, I, I don't necessarily think about it as living a fit life. So I do the things that I know that are good for me, and I've set them up in my schedule, and uh, those are the must-haves in my life. And then whenever I'm doing something else, I'm pushed or anything like that, I'm able to take it, so, it because it's built into my, to my whole lifestyle. So... Is that a great parting message? Because that's really what this is about. And it's about making not a quick fix, but really a lifestyle this all, so that way we can inspire more fitness, change more lives, which is really our mission here at the show. Um, so before we wrap today, Miss Leslie, I just want to take a second to acknowledge you. Um, I am super grateful for you. I am super grateful for our friendship. I am super grateful for the context and how we met um, on that cold morning, of November 5th, 2012. I will always... Um, you know, have you near and dear to my heart, and I'm just so grateful for our friendship continues to blossom, and I'm grateful for you being on the show, inspiring more people today. Thank you so much. I am so grateful for you. You have changed my life. <laughs> well, friends, uh, I know you got a ton of value in the episode. I certainly did. If you want to give us a like and subscribe on YouTube, raise some awesome review on iTunes, and even more importantly, share this episode with someone who needs to hear this message. Maybe you have a friend, maybe you have a spouse uh, who needs a change in their health and fitness, and by sharing this episode, that would really inspire them to be a better version of themselves, which is really our mission here. So without further ado, Leslie, thank you again, and friends, we'll see you in the next episode.